Hi there, this is Eggnog. Ever heard of SRS? Well, I'm going to tell you today why you should use it and, uh, well, how to use it. First off, you may be wondering, what does SRS stand for? Super Rad Sound. With that important information out of the way, let's talk about why you would use it. Take a look at this clip. Use of headphones is advised. I need help. Look for one on me. I'm going lights on. He's streaming. Turning left. There's a lot going on in this clip. What I need to point out is that I've got my flight in my right ear and I've got the command channel in my left ear. That's a capability that SRS provides that lets both my wingman as well as the entire flight provide me with feedback that in this case helps direct me to safety. So not only does SRS sound really cool, there's very practical reasons why you should use it as well. So without any further comments, let's look into how to download and install and set up SRS. First up, you're going to want to go to the SRS webpage where you can find a link to the download for the SRS zip. Go ahead and click that and then open it in File Explorer. All applicable links will be included in the description below. As you can see, that's gone straight to my downloads folder. All I have to do now is extract the zip file, then open the zip file, find the installer, double click, hit yes and then input the correct file locations. I can't tell you where these are located on your computer. You're gonna have to find them on your own. Then click install. There should then be a pop-up telling you everything installed okay, and you're off to the races. This next step makes sure that IL-2 and SRS are able to talk to each other. First, you're going to have to navigate to your game folder. For me, that's in my Steam directory. You're going to be looking for the data folder. Inside of the data folder is a file called startup CFG or startup config. You're going to want to pop that open and look for this specific line of code. This will be in the telemetry device section. If you don't see it, you're just going to need to add it. Type it in just how you see it in the screenshot. Once you've done this, you can save the config file and close out of it. Now that you've got IL-2 SRS installed, it's time to configure it and set it up to actually use in-game. I'm going to start by launching the application. Should have a shortcut on your desktop. Hit yes. This will bring you to the general tab of SRS. We're going to jump straight over to the controls tab. The only controls you really need to worry about are push to talk, radio channel up, radio channel down, select next radio, and select previous radio. This will allow you to change what channel you're on on one of your two radios as well as to talk. The next tab to look at is the favorites tab. This contains a list of your SRS multiplayer servers. I'll show an example of adding the combat box server. Just type in a name for it, type in the SRS link, and uh, hit the little plus button. You can also choose a default SRS server uh, by setting this little flag. Finally is the settings tab. This is an important one. We'll just start at the top and I'll point out the ones that sort of matter. Auto connect prompt off, auto connect mismatch prompt on, auto refocus IL2 off. And really these first three settings are for VR users to make sure that SRS does not steal the windows focus from IL2. Microphone automatic gain control on, Microphone noise suppression on. Those are about the important global settings. The others you can kind of tweak to taste. Scrolling down to profile settings, I like to turn the radio effects on. That's the uh, super rad part of, of SRS, so why not turn it on? Other important options down here, enable radio voice effect, enable clipping effect. Uh, important one, especially if you're using VR and you don't have visibility of the overlay, is to use this text-to-speech. Go ahead and turn that on. I find that by default, it's a little bit loud, so I turn it down just a hair. Gonna have to tweak that to taste for yourself. Wrap next radio. I turn that off just so I don't lose my place. The real magic is right here down at the very bottom. This is where you can split the command radio from your wingman radio. So again, I like to have radio one with command in my left ear and radio two with my wingman and, and my immediate flight in my right ear. This just helps to deconflict the chatter. You can sort of focus on either your right or focus on your left, depending on who you're trying to listen to. And it's a little bit less cluttered, makes it easier to process a lot of information. Last thing to talk about is the general tab. Here's where you've got your general audio settings. I find that I've got to crank the volume up a little bit, but you'll have to tune to taste. Uh, 
Uh, you've also got your connect to server. This way you can manually connect to server rather than relying on the auto connect. You can just select from your favorites that you've uh, identified in the favorites tab from this drop down and click connect. Once you're all configured and you load up into a multiplayer server, you should be greeted by the following message. IL2SRS text to speech active. As long as you hear that, you're probably good to go. Spawn into a location on the map. By default, you'll have radio 1 selected and both of your radios will be on channel 1. You can toggle your radio using the key bindings that you've set up. Selected radio 2. And you can toggle your channel by using those key binds that you've set up. Channel 2 radio 2. Channel 3 radio 2. And that's pretty much all you need to know to be an SRS madman, so go out there and get them, chief. Thanks, bye!